Hi, sometimes we may need to connect one Ethernet cable to another to make longer lengths if the first cable is not long enough. As we know, there are, the, there are totally eight wires in each of these Ethernet cable. So we spy each of these wires to make the connection. If that's the case, it will become very messy. Actually, we can use this Ethernet coupler. This coupler can connect two cables together to make a longer lens. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's just remove the grant. Let's grant both sides. This grant will keep the water out of the connection, also maintain the connection. And after that, we can see this is the coupler. Both sides the same. We're supposed to connect the cable to both sides to make the co joint connection. Okay, now let, let's just get one side of the cable. And this is the cat. And here we have the rubber and also the grant. And now let's make the cable pass through this cat and now go through this grant. We can make the connection out. It's important to faster the grant first. If we just close the, this cat first and faster grant later, and it may, it may twist the cable. Okay, as here we have cut the, we have cut for this rubber. It can work with the pre cable. All right, I'm not going to close this one. I will do it later. So now let's move the second side. Also the cable needs to pass through the cat, also the grand. All right, now make the joint connection. Okay, this is one thing you need to do now. Just use the best force you have to close the grant. It will press the rubber and keep the water out of the connection. Okay, we also need to finish this one. All right, we got cat on both sides. Now, also the best force. Make sure there's no gap between the cat and the body. That's pretty easy. Why should you need longer cable? Like this one. This is the 328 feet Ethernet cable. Can we join this one with the yellow one? to have a longer run. Yes, we can use the coupler to make the join, but it will not work. The problem is the limit from the TCP IP. The TCP IP network is limited to about 328 feet. When the distance is beyond 328 feet, the signal will start dropping. So we need to have some kind of extension solution to boost up the signal to repeat the network. Here we got the PoE standard. The PoE standard can repeat the data network or the PoE network. Let me just get this PoE standard. The PoE standard has one input to output. Adding the PoE standard to the link, it will repeat the data network for another 328 feet. So we're supposed to connect the input to the end of this cable, and then we can connect the output from these two ports. You see, we have two ports, that means we're not only repeating the data, but also expanding the data port. We can connect two IP devices, such like one IP camera and another access point. It's an electricity product. You need a power source. But the PoE technology allows us to send the power remotely from the router, so we do need to have the power source around this extender. In this case, you need to have this PoE injector or the PoE switch. The PoE injector will inject the power through this cable and send to this PoE standard. So usually we need to place this PoE injector next to the router, and we can connect the PoE port for this long cable and connect the other end to this PoE standard. Like this one. And now we still need short punch code. This short punch code to link the PoE injector to our main router. Now we can get the power source for this PO injector. 
once I plug in, you can see the indicator is on. That means this PoE extender is getting the power from the PoE injector. And now it's ready. It's ready for us to link additional device. If your device like this IP camera also need the PoE, you also will pass the PoE to the IP device. If your device doesn't need the PoE, like the non-PoE equipment, like the PC, it will, it will be fine. It will ju just provide the data without the power. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.